Coming up next on The Beat Goes On, we have the pleasure of tasting three great new wines from winesale.co.nz. Conducting the wine tasting is MasterChef Tony Astle from Antoine's Restaurant in Parnell. Tony Astle, the best right. time of the month has arrived. The best <laughs> yeah, time is. of the month. It is the best time of the month. And we get to taste three, not two, not one, but three beautiful wines on the table. I think you get quite excited about it. <laughs> you start thinking about it three weeks before, don't I you? I do, and a big thanks to our wonderful sponsor, winesale.co.nz. They're in Wellington, but uh, honestly, if you'd like to get some wonderful bargains, don't hesitate to go onto the web. Everybody goes on the web now. They Google do. winesale.co.nz. Everything you want to know about wine, it's all there. Now, Tony, how is life at the best restaurant in New Zealand? Am I allowed to say it's the best restaurant well, in New Zealand? You can say whatever you like. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Antoine's flattery is <laughs> Flattery is wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> It'll get me everywhere. Yeah, right? it will get you everywhere, Jerry. <laughs> Let's tell the people of New Zealand where your restaurant is. Uh, Parnell. And it's 333 Parnell Road in the Parnell Village, which has been there for a long, long time. And we've been there 40 years. We had a very exciting, uh, about a week ago, two, two weeks ago, yeah. uh, a winner. But you've got winners coming in all the time. But yeah. uh, this one, I said to him, please get a photograph. And, uh, and Tony, Tony, Tony Dickinson, Dickinson, he did yeah. a very good job. And he, I think he took photos. Mm, he did. So we've got one here to show you one of our winners of the wine competition at... Uh, Antoine's. So here is a picture of Tony right in the middle and uh, Tony Dickinson and his wife and they had a, Tony let me know that he had the most wonderful night and of course we will be doing it again tonight. So give us the address Tony in case anybody would like to go to Antoine's. Triple three just half Triple a devil. Yeah. Half a devil that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Parnell Road. Half a devil. Parnell. Well yeah. I'm, a, I'm aspiring to 999 <laughs> but 666 seems to be just out of my reach as well. <laughs> half a devil. <laughs> Okay, and of course, let's get the... 0937987567. Now let's have a look at our three wines on the table. You know two of them very well already, don't you? Well, I know them and I've been very affiliated with one of the mm. wines, which is a sparkling one, uh, Method Traditionnel, which is uh, number one family estate, which mm. is uh, Daniel Lebrun and his wife Adele. And we have another one that I've actually just... Yes. put on my wine list which is actually very fortuitous yes, and, isn't uh, it? and I have picked this one to go on my wine list too so I have tried it a few times and I deliberated and I picked the, this one with, uh, with so many, many others mm. but and that is uh, from Whitford in Auckland to Ranga Creek and uh, that's in the Auckland area and it's very exciting this one so we will come to that it's got a, quite a it's a new story, which is fantastic. And we've got one of my favourites too. I love the dessert wines. And when I Sweet saw this tooth. one come through, I thought, oh, here he goes. You <laughs> imagine, you imagine his little feet will be going like crazy <laughs> under the table. And that is from Hawke's Bay. Yeah. And it's a Noble Sauvignon Blanc 2009. Tony, now which one are you going to choose first? Well, it's a little bit of a dilemma really, but I thought we'll get the big one over mm. to start with. And we'll go with the... Um, Turanga Creek and it's at Notre Terroir and it's a Merlot Malbec Ooh, 2010. Lovely. So it's going to be Merlot and the Malbec will soften it. So it's going to be a very interesting wine here. Now this I did read from our wine notes, Tony, is organic. It is organic. Is or, it's one of the fully first certified. That means no sprays. It's just mm. they work the land. They work the, in between the rows. Uh, I must admit at the beginning when all this sort of uh, organic wine, I raise my eyes and here we go, tree huggers, <laughs> all that sort of stuff. It's going to be huge in mm. the world. And yes. I think these people are very the brave. Way, and it's yeah. only 24 hectares mm. in Whitford, which is amazing. And they've got some very, very good wines coming up there. Now it's Tuuranga. Tuuranga, is, it looks like Tauranga, but, and there is a story there, but it's Tuuranga Creek. And uh, the story is, of course, in the wine notes I read with that you've got, Tony, that they had uh, a lot of mail go missing in the 1850s. Which is quite amazing, isn't yeah, it? It had been sent to Tauranga. Yeah. So they thought, change the name. To Whitford. All right, so Tony. the proof will be in the tasting. Yeah, yeah. Here's the fa our favourite yeah, sound. Look at that colour. Mm. It's oh, amazing it's colour. It? Very oh. berryish looking. I mean, if you can get the... My little thing mm. on there. I mean, it's quite, it's quite amazing. It's, the clarity is unbelievable. 
the owners are Wayne and Mandy Allen, and the winemaker is Rod McDonald. Rod McDonald. Uh, we'll get to Wayne him in a minute Mandy. because he's got a story as well. But I think we should try this, I don't you reckon? Mm. Now that is elegant. As I said before, you've got the Merlot and the Malbec. Now they're soft grapes anyway, but this is just beautifully integrated. Mm. It's silky. And it's got just silky tannins. It's sort of just, you know, I always go on about this a little mm. bit of furriness behind the teeth, but that's it but it's so smooth. Look, congratulations to the three. Wayne and Mandy. And our winemaker. And and the winemaker, Rod McDonald, mm. I mean he was uh, Beautiful. He was 10 years the chief winemaker at Vidal's. And well, that which, so it, he's it? pretty amazing. Mm. And in 2006, he was New Zealand's winemaker of the year. So he's got a very good history. What about, what would you serve with this, Tony? Well, I think a mature hard cheese it would go very, mm. very well with. Um, I'm sort of thinking something like Manchego or a, uh, just a bit, but a, quite a strong cheese. Mm but I think hard rather than soft ones. And of course it will go with lamb and it will dip because it's got, and it, I think it will probably go very nicely with sort of farmed venison as well. Mm. It's got, it's just got all the right nuances to actually work with these things. Wayne and Mandy, and of course <coughs> Rod, wonderful job. And big thanks to winesale.co.nz who are the providers of our wine and send us a lovely little package every month, don't they, Tony? They do indeed. And so I, think, I think everyone out there should watch this space. This mm. is going to be a very interesting journey for this. Google winesale.co.nz if you want some wonderful bargains in the world of wine. Tony, wine number two. Well, no, wine number two is Jira's excitement. Here we go. Look, look he's drooling. I love that sweet tooth. You, know, yeah, you so do. It's, yeah. it's quite amazing. Now, this is a uh, Noble it's, Sauvignon Blanc. But they call it a dessert wine, don't they? And it is. Well, it's, it's a noble, noble rot. Yeah, yeah. sort of, sort of uh, botrytis. So, and it's a 2009. So this is Sauvignon Blanc. But, and uh, this particular wine was not right for a straight Sauvignon Blanc. But it's quite amazing. And this is quite hilarious, really, because... The owner mm -hmm. of this uh, winery has put his personal guarantee for 50 years on this wine. He thinks it's going to, to tell you what, buy it all up now and in 49 years and it's not working, give him a call. <laughs> but he's put a 50-year guarantee on it. Yeah, and it got a silver medal at the Royal Easter Show. Mm. And I think you're going to find, because the colour is it's very golden. Yeah. Uh, I like the name, Tony. Beach House. Beach House, which yeah, if you, you go onto the website, you? you can sort of see the, the winery mm. that actually looks like a beach yeah, house. It's got a lovely beach house. And, uh, and the winemaker is Chris Harrison. Chris Harrison. Okay. Chris, your work is now going to be examined in de great detail. Look at that, sticky. Ah, is that beautiful? Look how lovely it is. Good colour, good colour. The aroma just oozing out of oh, the top of to. the bottle is amazing. So imagine what happens when we get into the glass. Now, I'm oh. very impressed with this colour. We can't wait to get into it. Come Let's on, get, get we'll into give it. Give it a go. I'll let you do it first. Mm. Look at them, eyes rolling. Oh, sharp. Euphoria, euphoria. Look at you. This is orgasmic, isn't it? <laughs> Look at you. You know, you you're look, easily pleased. Your is birthday my, coming up, I know what you'll be doing. <laughs> it is my favourite wine. I am a sweet tooth. Mm. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? Beach house. Wow. Now that is monstrous. Mm. It is, it's concentrated honey, though, and it does sort of have oh. melon undertones. But, you know, all those sort of fr like figs, quince, oh. apricot, but it's so concentrated. I know this is a, this is a monster. Mm. And I can see why. Mm. I would love, if I thought I was going to live another 50 mm. years, to put this... <laughs> a few bottles away because this is going to get so intense. It, it's hard <laughs> to say how many, how good it is, really. Now, what would you serve with this, Tony? Oh, I'll just drink it. <laughs> Don't serve I'll tell you what, with it. <laughs> I do the Saturn's jelly, yeah. and I with a lot of French Saturn. This here would make the, and I know wine jelly sounds mm. not good, but just vanilla pod into a jelly and set it and serve it with, and I would serve it probably with a passion fruit bavoir or a passion mm. fruit panna cotta. 
And I probably reduce a little bit of honey with this in it and mm. just drizzle over it. I mean, it's, it's really mm. what you're going to have instead of your birthday cake, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, that is, and it's got legs, mm. you know, legs are when it's sort of like glycerine all around the glass. Yeah. But look, go up there and it just is oily. Just, it's yeah. absolutely beautiful. Well, we would buy this wonderful wine from winesale.co.nz. This is probably one of the better dessert wines I've from New Zealand that I've tried for a long, long time. All right then, Tony. Wine number three. And now we celebrate, we get into a celebratory mood because it's champagne. But we're not allowed to call it champagne, are we, Tony? No, champagne comes from champagne. And I think quite mm. rightly so. This is a champenoise or traditionnel. Yep. And Le Brun, the, the number one estate, Le Brun family have been making, and they probably, arguably the best sparkling winemakers in New Zealand. I actually right. think they're pretty good, these people. We like that noise too, don't we? It is a distinctive sound, isn't it? And the aroma is amazing. <laughs> now the reason that we have this particular champagne or method uh, champenoir on today is because it won the big one. It Gold International, yeah. London, just recently. 2012. It's amazing. And this is actually the, um, this is number eight. So mm. they go from number one, they go through. This Daniel Lebrun is a 12th generation um, champagne French. man yeah. from France. And of course, it's a, it's a family business. There's Adele, who's a character, I might say, a character. <laughs> and they've got their two children, which are Virginie, mm. which they have named a wine after, which is an amazing wine, mm. and Remy. So it's a big family affair, and it's quite an amazing family. I mean, they've been around for a long, mm. long time. He has dominated this whole industry. And he it? has. They have totally put their whole efforts into making sparkling wine, and it has paid off brilliantly for them. So it was entered in the International Wine Challenge in London, 2012 one first prize so and it's, it's going to be pretty good. It's cool. number eight and of yes. course it's red, gold and black and of course in the Chinese number eight and of course that's good luck, achievement, abundance and success in Chinese numerology. So I think they're quite clever here. <laughs> covered all the bases. They have covered their bases but they're pretty special these people. Wonder it won the, uh, well, you can see ball. see why it has. I mean, mm. you're not allowed to call it champagne mm. in New Zealand or anywhere, but it's it's very very you, you know it's made by a person that understands champagne. Mm. And Daniel has done. He's mm. I mean he's dedicated his whole life and his whole family has to the making sparkling wine. I, I'm not a great person to serve sparkling with main courses and mm. entrees. I, I think there's a special ne yeah, place there's for a, there's it. A place for it, yes. And it's. I just think these people, they know their business, they know what they want, they do not compromise, and they go for it. God God's sake, I've been there 40 years, they've been there a long time, and we do, <laughs> we do cross Your each other's paths, paths from time to time. Well, Tony, that's our three wonderful wines this month. Reminder once again that, of course, that if you want any of these lovely wines, or any wine at all, Google, just go to the your computer, winesale.co.nz, and there it is, everything you would ever need great wine site. I actually find these people seem to be able to sell things cheaper than a lot of other yeah, people can. It's quite it? amazing. Yeah. So it's well worth visiting that mm. wine store. And well, Tony, we have a winner from last, last month's competition. Congratulations. I hope he can make it up here. He lives in Christchurch. Joseph Anderson. But wouldn't if that he, be perfect though? Yeah. A little bit of time out of Christchurch to come yeah, up. Yeah, come up and come to... Uh, come up and we will actually calm everything down for him. So let's quickly go through the three names, Tony. Of course, there's Curve number eight. Yes, we have Curve number eight, for, and we have Beach House, Beach uh, House Noble Sauvignon Blanc 2009. Well, just Beach House will do. Yeah. Beach House and Turunga Creek. Turunga Creek. They'll be up there. And winesale.co. And address it to Jared at the Beat Goes On with your email, and we'll do the draw. And you could have a wonderful night for two, a romantic night uh, at Antoine's in Parnell. Tony, you're wonderful. We're going to see you in another month's time with some more great ones. I well, look forward to it. We'll try and find three sticky. <laughs> yes, we should. <laughs> Thanks, Tony. Okay. <laughs>